So you want to get good at hype in the skybox. Well, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'm going to be giving you 5 tips that will help you advance through the ranks and become a top skybox player. What's up guys, it's Just Wonk here. And I just want to take a moment that if you enjoy our videos, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. It really helps out small channels like us, and I would genuinely appreciate it. Also, me and my friends are live on Twitch, Fridays and Saturdays, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. Be sure to check me out there, link is in the description below. I hope you all enjoyed the video and you all have a great day. Number 5. Minions. High Puzzle Skyblock is a game that can demand a lot of time and a lot of effort if you want to get good and make millions of coins. But thankfully, there's a way you can make money even while you're offline. Minions. Minions will gather a lot of a specific item while you're offline, so that when you log back on you'll have plenty of resources waiting just for you. We already have an in-depth guide below of how to make the most of your minions and what minions are best for profit, but I'll give you a quick rundown right now. For beginners and you don't have very much money, I would go for Lapis Minions. They're cheap, they make some good profit, but if you can't afford them, I would go for some Glowstone Minions. They make a lot more profit, but they require Combat 5 and you need to have the Blazing Fortress or then they'll cost much more to make, but they make much more. Now let's get on to number 4. Number 4, getting good gear. One of the coolest things about High Pistol Skyblock is how many different types of weapons and armor are available. We're going to be telling you which weapons and which armors you should be using. The very first weapon you should get is the Undead Sword, which can be bought from the Weaponsmith NPC in the hub. It will do a significant amount of damage against the zombies you find in the Lapis Quarry, which by the way is at the second layer of Deep Caverns. Anyway, the next weapon you should be getting is the Silver Fang. This weapon is also extremely cheap, but does much more damage than the Undead Sword. It sells for about 10k in the auction house. Next sword you should get is the Aspect of the End. This sword will do much more damage than the Silver Fang, but will give you the ability to teleport a short distance. They sell for about 200k in the auction house. Next you should go for the Radiator Axe, or you could skip that altogether and go straight for the Aspect of the Dragons. Once you get the Aspect of the Dragons, you'll be able to easily one-shot Zealots with the proper enchantments and proper accessories. Now armor wise, first you should use whatever you get in your hands. Lapis or Minor armor isn't a bad choice, both can be obtained in deep caverns, but anyway, the first real armor you should be going for is the Ender Armor. Full set won't cost you more than 400k, and usually you can find it for cheaper. With this armor you can begin farming some zealots. Now after that you should go for some young dragon armor. It will make you much faster and make zealot farming much more effective. Now after this you should go for some superior dragon armor. But by this point you probably know what's good and what's not and you'll probably have finished the game already. Number 3. Auction House Flipping Do you have a good sized bank account that you want to turn even more money? Do you like looking for good deals on gear and items in the auction house? If you answered yes to either of those questions, you should try auction house flipping. The idea of auction house flipping is that you scour the auction house for items selling much cheaper than they usually do and grabbing them before someone else does. Once you buy the item for cheap, you sell it for not so cheap. This is just an example of some of that happened, not that you could expect, but suppose you're in the auction house, buy it now, and you see an aspect of the dragons going for 1.2 mil. But you, being the genius you are, know that they usually sell for 2 mil coins. So you would then buy that sword, and if you're able to buy that sword, you would sell it back in the auction house for 2 million coins, which will give you nearly 1 million coins in profit. That's easy. We're currently looking into making a much more in-depth guide in auction house flipping, so subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when that video comes out. But for now, let's move on to number 2. Number 2. Fairy Souls. Fairy Souls are one of the best ways to boost your stats as a beginner. We've left the link in the description below by Timedio, which guides you on how to find all the Fairy Souls. Upon finding them all, you'll receive an absolutely massive boost to your stats, which you get as soon as you start playing. This will be especially useful if you're having trouble surviving in areas like the Deep Caverns, or really at any area of the game. If you want to advance your skybox, you need to find at least some of the Fairy Souls. Now for the grand finale, number 1, Bizarre Flipping. Earlier in this guide, we mentioned Auction House Flipping, and Bizarre Flipping is a lot like Auction House Flipping, but Bizarre Flipping is like its crazy crackhead cousin. You see, once you unlock the bazaar, which you do by reaching level 7 in farming, forging, and mining, you may begin to flip in the bazaar. Bazaar flipping is especially profitable for beginners looking to make their first million coins, but into the mid game and even late game, bazaar flipping is more than worthwhile. I've also linked our in depth guide to the bazaar flipping in the link below, but I'll give you the basics right here. The idea is that you buy large quantities of certain items for cheap, and then you sell those items slightly more than what you paid for them. Slight profit on each item is multiplied by up to 70,000 depending on how much you buy. So it's easy to see why it's a profitable. There's a lot more to bizarre flipping you need to know, especially if you want to make it most profitable. 
So you should really check out our other video. Again, link is in the description below. Psst, psst. Hey kid, you want some bonus tips? Subscribe to our channel. We're currently looking to make into a lot of other tutorials like Jacob's Farming, a beginner's guide, and much more. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day.